This is the Morning Swim Show for Thursday, March 11th, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush. In the Finis Monitor today, we'll talk to University of Virginia senior Scott Robeson. Scott has the top time so far this year in the 200 freestyle, and he joins us right now in the Finis Monitor. Scott, welcome to the show. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Thanks a lot. Hey, is this the first time in your college career that you've had the top time in the country? Uh, yes, absolutely first time. All right, so you got the target on your back now. You nervous about that or excited? Um, I'm pretty excited uh, because you know I, I since I have this year and next year left, I um you know I can really use this as a learning experience. It's it's nice to have this opportunity in my third year. Um, so I'm really excited about it actually going into NCAs. So you're a junior. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a junior. I apologize. I said senior oh. to start off the show, so my bad. That's okay. all right. Okay, so it's a pretty deep 200 free field this year, to say the least. Uh, how do you visualize this race going down? Um, well, I was fortunate enough to be uh, in the finals last year of the 200 free, so I have a little bit of experience. I'll have that going for me. Um, I'm usually someone that takes it out and just um, – uh, gets my race out there and, and just see how it goes. So I, I would anticipate that being kind of the way that it goes again this year. But um, that's how it ended up for me last year. And th this year I just feel a little stronger. I'll be able to finish the race stronger than I could last year. And so, um, you know, that, that's how I'm approaching it going into uh, NCAAs. All right, you made some pretty big time improvements from last year to this year. Last year, as you mentioned, you were a finalist, but you're swimming faster this year not wearing a high-tech suit. I mean, did everything just click for you in training over the past year? Did you get a lot stronger? What's, what's the difference? I think um, I, I gained a lot of valuable experience going to the World University Games last summer and um, kind of just carried through this year. I, I, I was really focused coming in, training. Uh, I've been able to be a little more consistent than I've ever been, um, definitely stronger and more fit than I've ever been. So I just had a, a great year of training, and that's what I really attribute it to. What's it like training with Matt McLean? That guy's an animal in workouts. I mean, do you guys go head to head, or do you kind of shy away from him? Um, we always go we go head to head every day in practice. Uh, we're always swimming right beside each other, doing the exact same sets. And um, you know, it, it, it's all to have um, the two of us, you know, practicing together every day. I mean, he's he's probably one of the best things that's ever happened in my swimming career, um, just because. You know, we're always pushing each other, always training with each other. And, you know, he, he obviously takes the longer distance stuff and uh, I'll take some of the shorter distance stuff. But kind of when we get into the 200s and stuff like that, we really uh, get to go to battle and it's, it's really fun. Wait, so you do the exact same sets as McLean, even though you're a 50, 100, 200 guy? Yeah, uh, for, for the most part, McLean and I uh, train the same, uh, in the same group all the time. So... Um, you know, when we started to taper down, McLean might do some extra stuff. But for the most part, when we're doing freestyle sets, um, McLean and I are right there together. Do you feel like you get the sprint work that you need when you're training with one of the best distance guys? Oh, yeah, definitely. And, I mean, I get to, uh, I get to split a little time with, um, you know, doing some shorter distance stuff that, you know, McLean and some of the other distance freestylers uh, D don't don't end up doing but uh yeah i, I definitely feel that uh the program that i'm on right now is is just fantastic for me um i think my my club experience was um kind of a more distance oriented training so it's it's what i've been used to and that's not to say that i'm training with the distance group or any by any means hmm most sprinters do anything they can to shy away from high yardage so i guess <laughs> you're in the minority there scott yeah, I'd say so. Hey, speaking of which, uh, I hope this isn't like a sensitive subject, but I noticed Scott is actually your middle name, but that's what you go by. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, my first name's Douglas. I've just always gone by my middle name, Scott, and so sometimes you might see um, like in a heat sheet or psych sheet, Douglas, but yeah, I just go by my middle name. Any reason or just? Oh, not really. No, not at all. Just um, that's, that's just what I've always gone by. All right, so the 800 free relay in uh, at the men's NCAA. Is you leading off? You anchoring? What do you? Where do you want to be? Um, I'm not sure. I I've swam uh, third on that relay the past two years at ACCs, and um, I won't say that we won't change it up because uh, you know 
I think that Mark is open to that, and it might depend on how how we're doing that day uh, at NCAA's. Just because you know, with McLean and I, pro- hopefully swimming the 200 freestyle, that'll be our third time that day. So um, you know, I, I really don't have a preference. I, I like to be on be on the lead off and, and get it out to a good lead in some clean water, but I also enjoy being able to go third and just trying to either catch up or just um, widen the lead. So. You know, I, I really don't have a preference, to tell you the truth. Do you have your eye on Simon Burnett's old NCAA record in the 200 free? Um, to be honest, no. I, I, have, I wouldn't have thought of that at all um, right now. I, I would love to improve on my time from ACC's. That's definitely a goal for me, but I'm not thinking about anything like that right now. What's, uh, what's something you do outside the water that might surprise some people? Um, I would say... Uh, I mean, my, my main um, like passion outside of swimming is probably backpacking. I love the outdoors. I love to go um, hiking and backpacking around the area in Virginia and also like to take trips elsewhere. So that's something that uh, probably no one would know unless they got to know me a little better. Well, what's a dream hiking trip for you? Um, well, I'd say probably somewhere in Alaska or um, in, in that area. I've been to Alaska once and I've Ever since I got back, I've always wanted to go again. So that, that's one of the uh, most beautiful places in the world, I think. Well, Scott, thank you so much for joining us, and good luck at NC's. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, that's Scott Robeson joining us from the University of Virginia. And that's it for the show today. I'm Peter Bush, reminding you to keep your head down at the finish. Swimming World Magazine's annual comprehensive previews of this month's Division I NCAA Swimming and Diving Championships are the highlights of our March issue. The cover girl is Julia Smith, who is bound to be one of the big names at the women's meet. Our preview of the women's NCAAs begins on page 8, where Jason Marsteller picks the University of Georgia as the school to beat, with Stanford and Texas rounding out his top three. The Texas Longhorns are picked as the team to likely win the men's NCAA championships, and you can read more about it on page 12. With the first 10 years of the new millennium drawing to a close, we take a look back at the top 10 moments from the women's NCAA championships. You can read about Natalie Coughlin's amazing achievement of 11 individual titles and nine other memorable moments starting on page 16. Our main section of the magazine features a recap of the Holiday Cup Water Polo Tournament, which has grown into one of the top water polo events in the world. Our swim section dares readers to take up yoga as a way to diversify their training, and we profile world record holder Jack Grossell. Mike Stott has a compelling Q&A with Purdue head coach Dan Ross in our swimming technique section, and we learn how he helped Scott Usher and Jordan Pajoli to success. Our junior swimmer section looks back at the first half of the high school swimming season, which saw two national records by Dagny Knudsen and another by the Bulls School Boys Medley Relay. Permium members get bonus features in the online digital version, including video interviews with some of the top athletes and coaches we'll see at this month's NCAA championships. I really don't uh, enjoy or focus on swimming up to a time. With me, it's all about, you know, race day and, you know, what the race is once I get there. Um, you know, it's how I've, how I've always been. I just always like to go out and race anybody who's in my heat. And, uh, you know, if, if I go a good time, then great. But most of all, I just I really like to win. If you're not a premium subscriber, just go to SwimmingWorld.com and click on the subscribe link.